Tigers are very expensive. Very practical. Mm -hmm. Practical and a maze header. Yes. What, what price is a maze header making right now? 22. For a maze header. <laughs> I'm cold, John. I'm cold and I'm wet. Why did you use the umbrella? Right. <laughs> That's going to be phenomenal. He's going to go for <laughs> I like Big Booty. The onion bag. <laughs> yep. Thanks, Ryan. You're welcome. <laughs> me on the camera. <laughs> Man's looking very cold. <laughs> Reason. <laughs> he just did this. <laughs> he took out the brand new umbrella. The brand, brand, brand new umbrella. And the first thing he done was put it in the wind. <laughs> and flipped it inside out. This is Michael. This is our new guy. We'll tell you all about Michael as we do the tour today. Uh, we're at Reynolds, CNC Reynolds yard. A uh, bit of a sale on this morning, so uh, we'll find out what's happening. Michael had a good time last night. Great time, really, really good time. A wee bonus uh, video while we were here. So, just you uh, find the umbrella for yourself there, Michael. Don't worry about me, like. <laughs> <laughs> Some operator. <laughs> we're fighting a losing battle. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> I've seen Lee there. I'm going to head that way to meet Lee. My brother Ali, he, he looks after all the outside maintenance, all inside maintenance. Um, he's actually been down here this morning for my cock up from last night. So we had the trailers that we have have got chain and slack floors in, and they, because they're brand new, they've bedded in, gone a bit slack, needed adjusting up. The lads told me around dinner time, I said, they'll be right, just keep going, we'll sort it out at night, so long as you don't reverse it. So the last load was being tipped in the mouse last night and um, there was a little bit left. I said, I'll oh, just walk it back in and shut the door. So they did and then it got older the back flat because the chains were slack. Snapped the bearing off, bent the thing up and so a phone call at 10 o'clock last night. Lee, can you just nip down here? Was All I got was a text message back. Great, exclamation mark. Lee's the main mechanic, the main mechanic. If you can't fix you out of that van, then it's a big job engine out or something like that about Yes. I've never been where it's not coming field and not been able to fix us. Or at least get us going. I can't believe you're having the sale you didn't even know it had started yet. No, well, it's one, I've left it to Dan really to be fair. At first, at first I heard somebody say, oh, Reynolds are quitting, but I mean, you're not quitting, you're just no, scaling back. No, just scaling stuff. back. We're working for a trade that's been punished fairly hard and not getting the price for the commodity. And we do, we do struggle getting paid off some customers and you can't really blame them for it because we know obviously the situation just get passed down doesn't it you, you're only you're only in the food chain and such aren't you when we used to be doing it with six nine tens and charging probably only a five or less than what we are now it, you didn't realize how much money were being made then but it's just yeah. been diluted and diluted and diluted is that the same van or have you changed the van since i've added it no that's the same one it, it has had some paint work just to keep it looking fresh but yes. some fairly severe body work at the other side because one of the lads decided to back into it in a stylish trailer yes and like put a, hand, a hole in it if you get your hand in so. Hey, was it per driving on the part of the tutor or per parking on you? It's probably a 70-30 because I was parked here and he was filling it with diesel and he just set off backwards without looking and then I saw my band rock and I thought he's not just done what I think he's done. Has he? Yeah it took, took me a second to go, oh, that was, that was definitely done, that's definitely done. Well how's things? So last year I took on a farm to grow a lot of hybrid rye, uh -huh. over a thousand acres and um, obviously it never stopped raining did it? So we never got it planted. Obviously, you can't plant it at spring. Okay. So uh, cash flow wise, that was a big impact for us for this year. And the grass we do, we don't do a right lot anymore. So we just took the decision to downsize and um, concentrate on the workshop. And we're keeping one of the mouse rubber mouses. So we were going to uh, just concentrate on AD plant stuff. I managed to hook out a wee hidey hole here. Because I'll tell you what it isn't. I'm out for an auction. There's a 7010 over here. I don't know if John spied it just yet, but look at that. There's John now, look. He's all happy, look. 
<laughs> big smile on for the 70th day. Will we give up on the umbrella? I think we're safe for just holding it. So. What do you think, Tom? Will you buy Anna in today? Another 70 would be nice, wouldn't it? Would. I don't think she's a 50 kef, or I don't see any air brakes in the back of her. She looks like one stick, though. She's definitely a, an auto quad. She'd be very similar to your own. TLS. Yes. Auto quad. Did they all come with Tremont hitches? That's the same hitch as mine, yeah. Is it, yeah? That's the alarm. We've set the alarm off. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a brief while since we saw you. What year was that? You were in the harvester. 2019, it was the year I got wed that. What was it, three days I was in Forager when you come? So a bit more experience now in that. But still loving Forager work? Still loving it, yeah. Yes. Still loving it. You didn't buy this, no? Pockets weren't deep enough, John. Okay. Well, now, are you going to buy it? I'll come drive it for you. Well, you see. Well, I wouldn't just have to work for a 9.9. Nah. You know, something smaller would do me, or I would have. Well, yeah, we could find some mates <laughs> to job. <laughs> it's a shame. Love and life. I'm battling this umbrella again, but we're winning. I'll take it there. And just, yes, I'll just, sure, I'll just stand out here and get soaked. Yes, that's grand. This is romantic, isn't it? So, I presume these dung spitters here are... Staying. Staying. Everything buried up in here. That's the nice sticking out the back there, that. Yes, and the 435. We're keeping, a, we're keeping a bit of a shovel there, too. Only really spreading, like muck spreading and lime spreading for now. I think we're keeping a set of triples and maybe a little rake, but it's only so um, my dad can go and blast around mowing in summer. And so enjoys a bit of driving, though? Yeah, oh yeah, that's all he wants to do. Don't want to do anything else. All he does when he's in the yard is shout at folk. <laughs> <laughs> you scaled back the trucks as well? Yes, we have. Um, again, that's more down to staff. Staff and red tape. We're struggling with uh, finding a transport planner. So Mick Howarth, who I mentioned in our first video, actually, he was, yeah. he was our transport planner then. Yeah. Uh, last time he filmed us. And um, so he got his own trucks now. Um, he was driving one himself. And then when we when I decided to pack in, I went to Mick and said, um, how do you fancy taking on all our haulage work? So he came off the truck, put a little office in at his house, and he now is like back how it used to be. <laughs> But with his own trucks yeah. and some contractors, he hires. We've still own a few trucks which he hires in off us, and he uh, sorts the drivers out and he's got stickers on the side on hire to Howard Forage. So, yes. But, but they're still branded up like us, so we're still about on the roads, and it seems to work really well. Well, when did you reach this decision? Was this something that's been brewing over a couple of years? It has. We're getting busy with this side and seeing seeing the money, seeing the profit margin you can make, and seeing the Seeing the potentials that we, you know, we could, we, what we could, what we could earn, and what we could do up with this side, without taking the mick or you know, charging massive labour rates, you can make a, a, a decent margin if you if you do the job right, and you've obviously got a, you've got a, a good following, you build a good customer base. So, and I, I sort of fell out of love a bit with the contracting side because, you, like, staff issues were same as I said with the wagons. They'll come back in the yard with a salvage trailer, we paint missing off it, or a mirror smashed off a tractor. You know, like, like I've been working all day fixing other people's stuff to make money and then they come in the yard at night and, oh yeah, that one's fixing and this one's fixing and the tyre's going down that trailer, can you make puncture and... I suppose there's a temptation, but whenever you're here with this kind of facility, that they do get complacent because yeah. they know, oh, Lee will fix that. Yeah. Well, the contracting is more your side of the business, is that right? Yeah, yeah, I do. So I, what, are you, what are you going to bore into now? I've got, we've got plenty of permission going in for our own AD plant at our farm here, mm -hmm. where we are. Um, we've been on with that for probably six, seven years now. You're getting close? Yeah, the, the plan is to push forward now after after the sale and try and get that over the line. We know what we're doing year to year then. Like it's just it's guaranteed for 20 years, whatever it is, isn't it? So What's your plan on feeding that? What's, is it energy crops, yeah. Um, we, was, we was looking at the gas to grid option, but the company we were doing that with had financial difficulties and went wayward, so we're now pushing on with another AD company that does uh, energy crops only, so it'll be seven, eight thousand acre energy crops, grass, rye and maize, so it'll be more suited for Lancashire as well with the weather. Okay. So yeah, that's the that's where we're aiming towards anyway. For me, my side of the business. Yeah. My brother's busy with workshops anyway, so, but I need something to do, so. 
on the pull is back baby we've got tickets going on sale so the big thing you need to remember is when the tickets go on sale which is sunday the third of march and you can find the ticket sales on www.onthepole.co Farmflex website will also have a link. Just Google on the poll, you, you'll find us. Can't mess it, can't mess it. Obviously, we're putting some, we're putting some extra workshop space up and some extra storage, and we've got a few um, potential rentals for a couple of bays, you know. For have you, are you getting the stage right growing this one? Not, not? not really, but I want to, obviously, we're putting three more up, and we're putting three bays up, and then we're putting another three up when that rise is speared. Um, and I'd like to put like a, the bay together for sandblasting and you know we've got a sandblaster now and we do do bits but obviously when when it's raining you can't do it and a lot of the a lot of the stuff we make in the workshop paint sticks 10 times better when it's blasted so i want to set like a um, a bay up for set the blaster up in it so you can just make something walk over crack it up everything's set up already blast it paint it yeah, yeah. what are you in the market for michael what do you what what, what 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 brand or legends do we have a kramer that's what i'm in the market for market for a kramer yes I have a feeling that Kramer isn't for sale, Chief. I know what I'm in the market for, John, and a strap to the back of that black Jeep there, or black van. Lovely day, sir. <laughs> it's a real wrestling match. Lovely day. We're just over for the day, a bit of shiny metal disease. We missed the bale carriers, sir. They'll be sorry, at the start of the way, look. Them two there, are the wrap carriers. We'll do a wee inspection, Chief. We will. Around the old ears. What, uh, what brand does Michael uh, subscribe to? Yes, yes, the same as you, John. Oh! Yes, yes, yes. No persuasion required. No, no, no. I like a John Deere. Would you stray the odd time, would you? Uh, Are you 100% loyal? No, I would stray the odd time now. I'm not 100% loyal, but... Uh, <laughs> what, what, what would we stray towards in the first choice? I'm not really opposed to any brand, to be quite honest, but I, I do like the Deers now. I, ha I have a Deer myself, but... What do we have? My God, what do we have? Oh, a mighty 2650. These, these yokes here... Big 26? These yokes wouldn't even have a look in at her. Your 26 is actually better than Leslie's 26. You like the four-wheel drive, Axel? I do have four-wheel drive, yes. Hard to beat the two-wheel drive, lad. <laughs> Only men drive two-wheel drives. <laughs> That's some header there. Look at the size of that. Two of them. Arr, I wouldn't really bend it with me as headers like that. So we've got a 155, a 155, a 145, a 145, and a 6830. In the line. A new haul loader. A JCB. 88. Eight. And a 99. Hey, I see what you need there. What? Right at the end of the row there, lad. Do you see it? You said you wanted a Kramer, but you said you're a John Deere man. Oh, yeah. That's your rod there. Ah, there, we're looking mint with a 2650 park trailer, lad. I don't know, it's just a bit rough, John. What do you need her for? A bit rough for lifting bales and loading bales and... Ah, there, lift bales. What are you talking about? I know it well, I know it well. I've got one, I've already got one. I don't need another one. I don't need two. Ba hey, backup's hard to beat, you know. Ah, well, listen. Have you not seen notice the way everybody be buying? Two harvesters now instead of one. My shovel's that good, I, I don't need a backup. So I don't, I just don't need one. She's only 7,260 hours over there. She might actually be scary money then. 2006? Just dead on, you know. Tell you. Well, we chance to eat new haul, will we? We'll go farm and farm and some later, Spike. Yes, yes. <laughs> that'll be the same, well, that'll be the same shovel as um, Johnny Needle's case. Yes. 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 He was happy enough there, I think, at that time. I wonder if you do all the fancy moves you can do in farming simulator, you know, where you can pick them all kinds of shape, <laughs> roll them on their side and all. <laughs> hey, which them John Deere's you bringing me home? Hey, no, no. <laughs> 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 hey, Victor said you'd bring me, bring me two home, he said. Are you still here full time yourself? No, so I just come and do bits now bits and pieces so I started my own thing up but work alongside as much as I can because well, half my life I've been here 14 years now so can't just walk away can you? Well, what's your own thing? Uh, so I started my own little contracting thing up I'm 7530 um, best tractor med I think can only be a 75 auto power uh, we're getting a square baler coming this year to do the straw and some hay got myself a little hedge cut just starting up small you know trying to feel around see what I want to go down why did you want the auto power over the auto quad? I've just grown up with auto power. Just love them to bits, everything's there. You're not clutch riding all day, every day, going through the gears, are you? So okay. That's mainly the reason for it. And you've got to have the ones with the side windows. I don't like them panoramic doors. Okay. So I get them on with that. Um, yeah, green star ready. Good thing it's not without problems though. Yeah, but that's been a bit of a 
a bit of a nightmare if I'm honest. We gave him a list of things to check when he went to went to buy it. And he went down there and he, he said, I, I'm not sure, but I think the egg gasket's gone. But if everything else is right, and you, it's, it's what you want. And I think, obviously, he wants a 7.5, he, he wants linkage, he wants a big tyres, he wants a cab suspension, he wants it up. Ticked all his boxes, but he had his egg gasket problem. Getting it workshop, well, I'll let me do it. He did that, and the next minute it comes up with a transmission overheating issue. Whip box out, Stu stripped it down, down to the last clutch plate, like it was all stripped. Yeah. I was a bit scared at one point, I was like, <laughs> I hope, I hope this goes back together and it works, but like he's, he's, he's as thorough as anybody and everything goes back methodical and as it should, talked up, cleaned, everything. So I think we found one ceiling ring which had worn out, split apart, and you know, trying to engage two clutch packs at the same time when it was going down the road. Plow all day with it, you could work all day in the field, it never overheat once, but as soon as it went down the road and it started getting to that, the, like your, your third and fourth clutch pack, you want to call it that, it tried to engage them both at the same time and sort of just created like a friction, a lot of heat, and just sort of like boiled the oil. Um, luckily, he never let it boil because obviously he stopped and used his brain and let it cool down and stuff and limped it back to the yard. We just made a decision that a lot of the clutch packs were still good, even though it's done a lot of hours. Um, replaced everything we needed to replace for it to, you know, to go again and touch wood. It's been a good one. Well, at least he knows what he has now that you've been that far in, like, yeah. you know. Touch wood. <laughs> A lot of us touching wood around here. Oh, yeah, you say you got him. <laughs> what do you think? A little bad? I'm not quite sure what we're betting on yet. The big rake. Uh, is that not the butterflies we're betting on over there? He's not quite in front of the rake yet. You know, John, you could be right. That's 27,500 pounds. 27 and a half grand for a set of butterflies. It's not too bad, is it? This seem pretty good, Nick. There we go. Lot 71 put me in, stand off. We found the mark, put me in 17,000. She goes online now then. Oh, I want to get on then yeah. at 19,000 pounds. Online 19,000. At 45 on mid to 45. 45, never to 45. Then at 14,5. On 12,000. So then at 10,000 pounds. You're in the market for a wee tractor, are you, lad? Yeah, for a wee one, maybe not for a big one like that. <laughs> I own that sort of money, John. There you go, great set machine. Come on, hold the Come away then, make no mistake. At 8,500 pounds, riding for the dog then. At 80,500 pounds. 80,500 pounds. Should have already eaten, should have already Is that right, John? <laughs> Higher or lower? I'm saying the next one's going for more. He's starting off at 67, right? So I'm going to say 76 or 74. I know, pick one. 74. No, I'm going 76 then. Right, okay. Me and John just had a wee bet here. And I said this would sell for 74. He said 76. And it's now currently been at 77. I've lost the bet. We're both wrong, John. Made there to 65 Never to 65 pounds. Joel, 63, thank you. 60,000 pounds. Good about 65. Never to 65 pounds. Made it at 63. Five. Yours again, sir. At 22,000 pounds. I've got there to 22. At 24. 24,200 pounds for a 6 kit 30. Does okay. Funny, I had 24,200 pounds. I nearly would have got it. Well, what of the maze game? Are you still involved in that? We chopped maybe 4,000 acres last year away from home um, so we're open to do about the same this year so like if these two were away are you just going to hire somebody in are you looking at keeping a forager or what? um yeah well no the the nine nines out of warranty the eight eight which we bought back tail end of last year john deere actually sold that back to us with two years warranty on it the nine nine we hope would sell today the eight eight we wasn't really bothered whether it did or it didn't okay. because we still got some mace to chop um but yeah, if they both went, then I'd have just got somebody to harvest for us yeah. for a, a season. Was well, that where you hung on to one of the mouses then? Or? Yeah. Well, I still yeah I still had work for that for that mouse um, for this year anyway. But the chopping was a bit uncertain. Obviously, in three years' time, if we study here, like looking at an AD plant, we'll be having to feed that. So if we've got a mouse, we won't have to you know a new one will be probably two hundred thousand quid. Whereas if I'm sat here, I'm mean, going to keep it with the 
with the view to using it. We know the machine, we've done, we've spent a lot of money on it, done a lot of work on it, refurbed the engine, we've done a lot of hydraulic work, wiring. So we know, you know, we sort of know the machine. So Are you hang on to the one that you bought the first time. Yeah, the first one, yeah, the older, you know, the older one, yeah, the ninety. Uh, just because you know it, you've refurbished so much. We know it, and it's. I wouldn't say there's anything better on the new one. Okay. Like we paid for new control units on it. We've done. We've simplified the wiring. We've made alterations to the like the to sealing it up and making it flow better and that sort of stuff. And next year we've got two new contracts starting for AD plants. So we'll back up to big acreages again. The idea was have a sale, have a reset, and then go again. Yes. So that is still the plan. <laughs> Sunday the 3rd of March, we got the ticket sales going live. And not only that, a bit different this year, we have Farmflix's big weekend, who we're going to have at our big concert. We have some top talent for you. We've got two banging artists, One's a local boy, Colin Graham, and we've got Michaela Fredrickson coming in from England, and boy, she can sing. Why did I need to see these fast tracks, and why are you taking a picture of them? Uh, they look good, do you not think? Tell me about what's special about the Icon. The Icon compared to the old one, she's all updated inside, so she's got isobus and all, but this one's got yellow handles on the side of them, that's how you tell the difference. What you're saying is if I took my rails off my 4220 and I spray them yellow, I can have an Icon? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Surprisingly, they're even more unreliable than the old ones. Oh, and the old ones are already unreliable. So, <laughs> you're not a fan? No, I'm not a fan Yet of them. You're taking pictures of them. Why are you taking pictures? I think they look good. They look good, but they're, in, uh, they're not They're not good. Tidy, well tidy. That's lovely. Would you go tall tires or fat tires? Oh, that's cool there, now. Junky tires are hard to beat, hey. Oh, that's savage. The only problem is, whenever they're in four wheel steer and you go above 20 mile an hour, they go into two wheel steer. Yep. Say if you're going around a roundabout and you're doing 21 mile an hour and then you slack off to like 19 mile an hour, they'll just go from two wheel steer into four wheel steer. But you need to remember to lock them into two wheel steer on the road, otherwise you get caught out. Oh, you're better just locking it yourself. You're better just locking it yourself. Oh, this is the W170D, 40k machine, there we go, going 1306 hours. Well shot machine as well, well presented, low hours as well. Put me straight in summer round, where are we going to be? Put me in summer round, 120, for it shorty, 120. 80,000 pound on bit here at 80,000 pound, it's your bit, sir, 82. 82, you never at 82. Okay, start right there. Add 112,000 pounds, online, 112. Nice. 28 DCB, the 435S. 50kph machine, we're on the right, 6 reverse camera. 8,000 in your hands, 80,000, 70,000 pounds, where are we going to be? 70,000. 65, 65, 65, 65, 65, 66. That's 70,000 pounds, I got there, it's 70 bit, 500 pounds if you want it now. That's 70,000, 500 pounds. That is your tractor, Chief. This one or that one? That one. Big like 1950. Only 4,000 yards under that. She's like new. Is there? 1993 too. You should be the last of them. That's the LP cab or a... It's either OPU or SG2, but that that's not either of those two. It's a... Uh, it doesn't say on this here. MC1. But I always associated them as having the gears in the floor too. So did I. But she's the last of them if she's 93. That'd look well beside the 26, lad. Oh, it would. I, I would drive that all right. But she left her own deal. Without putting the putting the wheels up? Of course it would. Are they a four cylinder or a three cylinder? I think they're a three cylinder. Oh. Do you like four cylinders, to be honest? Did you know, John? This is what I learned to drive in. An 885? An 885, this is what we used to have. Do you know what I didn't like about them? Was the two big clumsy gear sticks to the left hand side. Why? They're brilliant. I just found them really lumpy and hard to hard to work with. My dad's cousin had a four wheel drive V885 and I just I just found her. Ah, uh, six nine ten. She's air tanked at her lad. There's air on the back of her, yeah. She's just missing the sport badge. Oh, she's oh oh oh. Is she a Vario? Yes. Why is that a problem? The early Varios weren't strong, weren't renowned for being reliable. And your and your six nine is? The tire is really 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 following the arch of that. So surely they were thirty eights, were they not? Yeah. Some man decided to put forty twos onto a six nine ten. You must love the road speed, hey. I would say that thing is a flying machine. That's what we need, John. We need that. We do not need. I think we. I think we need it. Box six nine ten. Thank you very much. What we should have needed was a six eight thirty. At uh, very humble money. Very humble money. Depends if she's sold or not. Maybe she doesn't sell. Well, how's the workshop stuff going for you? Uh, very busy. Um, yeah, it just keeps growing legs. It's just the only problem we've got is staff. Like, well, like every 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 engineering or dealer in the country, they've got 
some shorter lads in the workshop, aren't they? It's just one of them, really. We do a lot of engineering now, like on the hydraulic rams and pipes, and um, I've just took another lad on in, the in, in there. Obviously, he's, he's only a youngish lad, and he's learning off the more experienced lad in there. You know, turning, screw cutting, making cylinders, making rams from scratch. The van up for mobile hydraulic hoses. It's not something I was actively looking to do, but I keep, because we do hydraulic hoses from the workshop, which keep getting asked about it, so, um, Set the plunge and spent a good few thousand pound on hydraulic fittings and set, set the van up. There's only me really doing it at the minute, doing the call outs and stuff like that until I, I can build it, enough momentum to take a member of staff on to do it. Are you close to getting a someone on it for you? Yeah, I've, I've, I have interviewed a, a few people, but it's just I'm a bit fussy. I'd like to find somebody who ticks all the boxes and I can, who's I, I think keen, but perhaps I'm a bit fussy. But. It's the best way. Yeah. <laughs> the trouble is with this job, you need to do a bit of everything. Like with, with just refurb this ram on this um, skip wagon and obviously you've got to whip it off, strip it, fit it, test it, like trucks out anybody's bag and then next thing we're taking a hitch valve off a 930 in, in the other bay um, and then we could be doing you know a wood chipper, uh, hard facing a wood chipper or changing blades doing whatever in that bay and then we could be making something in that one. I've lost John, I have no idea where John is. But he couldn't be too far away. I'm sick of wrestling with this umbrella. It is windy. He didn't get very close to his open price. He was looking over 200, he started at 150. I reckon he'll still go uh, over 200. Like. 2200 engine hours and 1050 cutting hours, I think. Right in front here at 195,000 pounds. You're out on line, make no mistake. The bid is on the field right in front of me, right in front of me now. At 195,000 pounds, the hammer's up, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out for Missy now. At 198,000 pounds, got yeah, yeah. enough on that, I'm afraid. Next machine, 198,000 for the 9900. I don't know what they are new, but I presume that's some saving on a new one. We're on to the 8800 now. 2,180 hours. It's showing about 1,500 drum hours. Although it has been wiped, it's showing 246, but it's about 1500. There we go, V5C we have again. Good tyres as well. There we go, from me straight to somewhere else. 100,000, thank you, sir. 100 of it. Add 100,000 pound on bid there, and 100. Add 100,000 pound on got there, and 100 of it. Add 120,000 pound on bid there, and 120. Hammers up this time. Add 120,000 pound, it goes this time and away there. Now 120,000 pounds. The bigger made 24 or 23, 23 and a half thousand. So. Diggers are expensive. Diggers are very expensive. Very practical. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You can do a lot of racking in one. Practical in a maze header. Yes. <laughs> Look at the price of a digger for that maze header. What, what price is that maze header making right now? 22. For a maze header. For a maze header. <laughs> I'm cold, John. I'm cold. I'm cold and I'm wet. Why did you use the umbrella? I was using it, but I kept nearly taking everybody's heads off. So I said, for safety's sake, I'm going to put the umbrella away before I take somebody's eye out. So that's what happened there. What's your remains processor, lad? I'm not sure what you black box right there. The mill. They're called the mill, aren't they? Yeah. Or the processor. How much? How much for the processor? I don't know. Tag around a little bit. Oh, I was going to say £800. For this black thing here with a belt on it. No, maybe not. Four and a half. Four and a half grand for that. He didn't labour that. Now you'll buy it, alright? Should have a lot cheaper. You could. You could. Big big lump of a thing. But then you need a lorry. You know you need a lorry on the front of it. That's the the catch. That's where they get you. <laughs> Ten weeks away from home living in that trailer. Like is it two floors on there? Yeah, two floors, uh, eight beds. We've got a twin bath twin sink bathroom on the end, good showering. And then we've got all the living downstairs, kitchen area. Sofas in the on the neck. What do you do for the water main and the sir? Do you just plug the water main into it? It's got a big two thousand litre water tank on board and, okay. a, and a tank for, for sewage. sewage. Yeah. Who gets the dirty job of changing that over? You get some funny looks when you're towing it behind the tractor <laughs> on the dolly. 
That's the sweetest dolly I've ever seen, I think, as well. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, fair play, like. 20, I couldn't tell you at the price of a lorry chiller. You could tell me that's a thousand pound, I'd believe you. You know, I would not have a clue about a lorry chiller. I think the walking floors are the big money. Yes. Fancy living inside that. That's big enough, like. I better not win my hand too much, or. I'll... Oh no, or you'll have this mod. <laughs> 20 grand. For the combination chiller. Very nice. Oh, this is your favourite bit, John. What? It's the thing you wanted. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I wanted a, I wanted a dolly. I used to dolly once in 2019 and thought that would be useful to have one of them. <laughs> And a little thing where we could really put me in four thousand for surely. Oh god, we'll go in the back of the Let's go. Right. I'll pull that home at night. I'm not giving more than 37.50 for it. John says he'll give 37. <laughs> four thousand pounds for that? What are you talking about? Some bit of kit. Ton, ton axle one. That's rare. What would you need that for? Like, you know? Because you can. That's as good a one as I've seen in a long time. It actually is good, yes, that's in good neck. There's our suspension on it, look. There's our yeah, bags on it. Yes, 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 she's a proper good one. You see, some folk would use the HCV chillers to go and get straw. Yes, yes. So, as the ticket, that there's that there's bolt for actually working with, not just moving around the yard. Yes. Come on, touch the door. Well. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. It's been a good day to be fair, although the rain has dampened it, hasn't it? But everyone will always show up to a sale, even if it's just for social things. Yeah, no, we'll see you soon. I think I'll make it off you. <laughs> Who's saying that rain letting off at all, hey? Home time. Aye. People, I have no idea where it's going to end. The price of second hand kit, because the price of the new stuff is getting. Beyond out, beyond outrageous. Ten years ago, I thought the price of kit was hard to swallow when prices of tractors went from, you know, 60 to 90. Yeah. Like, stuff just gone from like 120 to 150 this last two, three years. I honestly don't know how anybody can do it. I don't know how anybody can justify it. Well, fair play to them. Yeah. If they're trying to make sense of it, fair play to them. We'll see you in another day, my, my friends. See you later.